Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Jaylee Vlogs. Don't forget to tune into this video and afterwards like it and subscribe to my channel below. I would greatly appreciate it. In my vlog today, I will also share the 20 tips on how to reduce stress while you are quarantined at home or bored at home. With what's going on in the world right now, the last thing you need is to add more stress to yourself there's steps that you can do to reduce stress and guys i don't make this up okay i have the 20 tips right here that i will read to you i work for the government and no i don't work for the cia i'm not an fbi agent no i'm a teacher i've been asked to stay at home along with all my students ever since the outbreak last week so it's been exactly one week now since we've been staying home. We are staying home for another week. After that, we'll see if we can go back to work and school. I hope that your job share these information with you too, but they are some very good tips. So number one, concentrate on your breath. Close your eyes and start breathing deeply and slowly. Let the breath out for a count of five. Repeat this practice 10 times, focusing on the way the breath feels in the body. Feel the rib cage expand and relax and feel your mind relax. So take deep breaths would be number one. Number two, stretch the stress away. So raise your arms above your head, then reach out the right side of the room for four counts and then to the left side of the room for four counts. You can stick to your regular and normal stretching routine. Would be fine like raising your arms above your head and you know reaching out to the right side, counting how many times you want when it comes to stretching. Number three is to walk it off. Okay, you can use the steps in your house to walk it off. For me, I walk with my dog out in the neighborhood. We also go for run. Number four, eat a healthy snack. Keep fresh fruit, vegetables, and whole grain food on or around your desk. They contain stress-busting B and C vitamins. So vitamin C is very important right now. Visualization is five. Put a flower or blade of grass on your desk and spend a few moments each hour contemplating it. Imagine the cells within it teeming with life or imagine you are a ladybug climbing up the flower or the grass, taking in its color and smell. So for step number five, I already did that. I bought a plant. See, it's growing and you can see the water. I've been watering it, of course. And it's growing and growing each day. All right, step number six, drink healthy liquids. And I heard drinking hot liquids is very good. I've been trying ginger with hot water and adding a tablespoon of sugar to it. It's so good. So I recommend that. Now, if you're used to drinking tea, that's fine too. Number seven, treat yourself. And this does not mean going out to a party, going to a gathering, or going to a park where there's a lot of people. Treat yourself in a healthy way. Enjoy a banana, orange, or tangerine. Peel it slowly and enjoy the fragrance. Allow your thoughts to focus on the way the fruit smells, tastes, looks, and feels. Savor each bite. Don't do anything else while you're eating the fruit. Number eight. Take time to laugh, look up videos, funny videos, and just start laughing or, you know, tell jokes with your family members. Stay indoors. Number nine, talk to your coworkers. Now, if you're still at work, that's fine. I wouldn't stand too close to your coworker if they're showing signs or symptoms of, you know, being sick. But of course you can talk to your coworker. You know, just keep a nice distance. Number 10, imagine a peaceful place. Now, you've always want to go to the beach. This is the time for you to turn on some relaxing beach music. Close your eyes and think that you are there. When you are hearing the beach waves and the beach sounds, 
just from an audio. I know, but that's one way to reduce stress, guys, is to visualize that you are at the beach right now. Close your eyes, listen to the breeze, listen to the water moving slowly back and forth. That will reduce your stress, especially in this hopeful and helpless situation. So number 11 is to take a minute and, you know, look out the window just to see what's going on out there and let your thought take flight. And number 12, break time. Take a break from your work and think about your life outside of your job. You know, think about something enjoyable that you will do when you are home or when you get home if you're still out there working. Number 13, journey outside during breaks. So sit next to a tree or a flower. Go outside, enjoy nature. Don't confine yourself in your home. Go somewhere, go on a hike even. Number 14, take a meditation break. You can close your eyes, take deep breaths, and focus on peaceful feelings for five or 10 minutes. When you open your eyes, take the peaceful feelings with you as you go back to work. Number 15, make a cup of hot tea or broth. So I've been making some clam soup and I've been adding some garlic and some lemongrass leaves to it. It is so good. So that's my favorite soup that I like to make right now. Number 16, complete something that you've been putting off. So for me, it's grad school work, it's YouTube, creating more content, things like that. Now, I know a friend who worked with me and he's been trying to build a house. So I bet you he's been working on his house right now and, you know, getting a lot of things done. Notice how good you feel when you're completing those things, you know, completing all that task. Number 17, make time for play. Play a game, play a chess game, play tennis, play badminton, play basketball, play soccer. Just don't be around people that you know are showing flu-like symptoms. Try to stay as confined as much as possible. Um, even if it's just by yourself or with your family members. You're lucky if you are quarantined with your family members right now. At least you have someone that you can do all these sports activities with. But if you don't, that's fine too. You can still take walks, still go for a run, still enjoy nature and do the things that you like to do. It will help reduce your stress dramatically. Number 18, massage yourself. Okay, like for my students, I give them brain breaks. You know, they do stretch and sometimes I ask them to massage their necks. And it helps reduce a lot of stress and tension. So give yourself a back massage, okay? Or ask one of your family member to help you do it. And number 19, release tension through movements. Follow this exercise. Sit up straight, then drop your upper torso, arms, and head between your knees. Exhale and then inhale as you row up, starting from the base of your spine. So I can't show you that right now, but if you would like to go back and review what I just said, you can try that technique on your own. Number 20, adjust. Focus on your posture and just if necessary. Place your feet flat on the floor, lower back supported against the chair, shoulders moving down, chest moving up, and chin parallel with the floor. Breathe through this posture, okay? So that's another technique to reduce stress. Now, if you've forgotten them already, let me repeat them again so that you can remember what they are. So number one, remember to concentrate on your breath. Two, stretch the stress away. Three, walk it off. Four, eat a healthy snack. Five, visualization. Six, drink healthy liquids. Seven, treat yourself. Eight, take time to laugh. Nine, talk to your coworkers or family members. 10, imagine a peaceful place like the beach. 11, take a minute. 12, break time. 
13, journey outside during your breaks at home or at work. 14, take a meditation break. 15, make a cup of hot tea or broth. 16, complete something you've been putting off. 17, make time for play. 18, massage yourself. 19, release tension through movements. And 20, adjust your posture. So if you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel below. Mwah!